When Katie was diagnosed, we got plenty of support and information from our medical team. What they couldn't tell me was how to deal with a toddler who was throwing a tantrum because they didn't want to have their needle. And peer support answered a lot of those questions. And the questions that they couldn't answer, we could just journey through those experiences together. When you think that people with diabetes live with diabetes, you know, and the, the figure is 8,760 hours per year of living with diabetes, you know, they see me uh, four hours, six hours in that whole year. So my actual presence and influence over patients, look, it's still great because of my position, but in terms of the time they get with me, it's actually very, very small. And you've got to start thinking, well, where are people getting a lot of their support for diabetes, diabetes management, diabetes information? I've been living with diabetes since I was 19 years old and I found that peer support has played a pivotal role in the way I manage my diabetes. Peer support's really important because it provides people with diabetes with informational support as well as emotional support. Really, peer support is about the case of so you don't know what you don't know. Peer support groups enable people to be empowered with knowledge to be able to manage their own condition. I think that it's important that there is patient empowerment. Um, I love coming to the group. It's very informative. Um, it gives you a lot of support as well. We're all here for the same reason. We've all got diabetes. You know, it's that sort of networking that I think really helps people move along. You know, that, so, that sort of whole ownership, I'm in control, I know what I can do and I know where I can get help from, rather than me telling them what to do. GPs work a lot by knowing who we refer to and knowing where we're sending patients to. And, and that's really important because it gives us a sense of confidence about, you know, we know they're going to be looked after well. You know, peer support groups are a very real intervention. The guest speakers that I bring in are often healthcare professionals as well. And so there's always that connection back to referring back to their GP if there are any concerns from members of the group. So I know a lot of healthcare professionals are worried about the misinformation that's out there on peer support groups. When people see that, you know, medical advice is starting to be dished out, it gets shut down really quickly. It's the great thing is that Diabetes Victoria has a list of different peer support groups that are registered with them. So you can always go online and have a browse through and see what's currently registered there. It's great that once peer support groups are registered with Diabetes Victoria, they get ongoing training at regular times as well so that they're up to date with different um, issues that are currently happening and sort of how to manage different um, conversations that come up during those peer support groups and networks as well. Just get out there, go and enjoy it and join the peer support group. So what am I asking um, GPs and general practices to do? I'm asking them to get involved. I'm asking them, you know, to, to actively think about or find out who their local support groups are and actually start thinking about doing an automated or an automatic referral as you do your care plans for patients because it will lead to better outcomes and patients will feel better about it. Get connected today. 